Hey good people and welcome back to the channel. It's a fantastic Friday and as many of you already know, the show Ready to Love will be taking a much needed break for the next few months. But in the meantime, I plan to post some opinion pieces related to the show and for the purposes of this video, I plan to reveal my list for the top 10 women that I would have considered dating if I were a cast member on any season of Ready to Love. And just for clarification, the purpose of this video is not to solely rate the ladies on their looks or put them against each other. If we're being honest, then we can all admit that every woman who has ever been cast on the show is beautiful in some way. But I want to use physical attraction as well as personality for my selection criteria in order to give the ladies who watch the show an insight on what some men look for when they're picking a woman who they want to pursue. Of course I don't speak for all men, but I think most would agree with my reasoning for this particular list. So without any further delay, here is my list for top 10 women who I would pursue if I were a cast member on the show Ready to Love. At number 10, I would have to choose Liz. And I must say that when I first saw Liz on the show, she flew under my radar because she was somewhat reserved in her demeanor and style of dress. But the night she wore that blue gown, I swore I couldn't take my eyes off her. Then there was another night that she wore a red dress and she became the favorite among guys. I think it's safe to say that from looks alone, Liz is one of the most aesthetically pleasing women that I've ever seen on TV. And in addition to her looks, she was smart, courteous, considerate, and she had a moral compass. Flat out, Liz is the type of woman that any guy could take home to meet their mother and any mother would approve of her. However, if I were a cast member on the show, Liz and this whole celibacy thing would have stopped me dead in my tracks. Don't get me wrong. If I were single and lucky enough to be with somebody like her, I would at least try to see if I could hold out until marriage. But knowing how I roll, I wouldn't have lasted longer than a month. At number nine, I would have to choose Kyra. From the very beginning, Kyra was complete eye candy to many of the male viewers and cast members of the show. Her body was molded to perfection. Her confidence level was on a 10 out of 10. She knew how to hold a conversation and she had a competitive nature to her. I never once heard Kyra mention anything about being celibate, so I'm assuming that getting some good loving while in a committed relationship isn't off the table for her. But if I were on the show, I would have had that initial attraction to Kyra and I would have tried to pursue her. However, I would feel some type of way about Kyra not being decisive in who she wanted to pursue after a certain amount of time has passed. You see ladies, when you're dating a guy who's truly into you, wants to get to know you, and is willing to end his other connections to make you the priority, and you don't return that same energy, then some guys will get in their feelings, but other guys will just drop their losses and move on. And I would have definitely moved on expeditiously, especially after a few weeks of not having a definitive answer on where things stand. At number eight, I would have to choose Joy. Joy in a sense is much like Kyra. She's visually stunning, her confidence level is extremely high, and she knows how to have a conversation as well as to have fun. The one major difference I see between Joy and Kyra is that Joy was completely decisive on who she liked while holding the rest of the guys at arm's length. Now there's no right or wrong way to approach making connections on a show like Ready to Love. What works for some may not work for others and vice versa. But if I were one of the guys that was on the outside looking in, I would just cut my losses and go find another connection. Also, one quality that I saw in Joy that would be a turnoff would be hints of being possessive. When she was with Clifton, even from the very beginning, it seemed like she was marking her territory with the other women, and that's completely fine if the feeling is mutual, which it seemed to be with Clifton. However, if I were on the show and the feeling wasn't mutual, then being jealous and possessive would be a huge turnoff. At number seven, I would have to choose Shay. Shay shares many of the same characteristics that Joy and Kyra share. She's simply beautiful, confident, and she knows how to have a connection. One thing I did notice about Shay was that she wanted to date with a purpose, and she showed some signs of jealousy when her connection was showing attention to other women. I put Shay ahead of Joy because Joy's season had more men and there was less competition. But my only other issue with Shay is her stance on having kids. If I were on the show, I would be fully on board with talking to somebody like Shay until I heard her stance on having kids. As a man, I may not want to have kids at the moment, but I will want to have kids somewhere down the line. And while I respect women who've had kids and choose not to have anymore, but it will be my choice not to date women like that because it wouldn't be fair to me to compromise on something that I like. Other than that, Shay was a good cast member on the show. At number six, I would happily choose Tiffany. 
In addition to her beauty, I respected her southern values and how forward she was when it came to letting a man know she was interested. My love language is touch, and dating somebody with the same love language is a match made in heaven for a guy like me. However, if I were on the show, I would have had two hurdles with Tiffany. First off, during her time on the show, Tiffany had some issues with engaging in conversation that some of the other women didn't seem to have. And second, Tiffany has younger kids, and for a guy like me, a woman that has kids from a previous relationship is not necessarily a deal breaker. But I would have to go into the situation knowing that her kids, especially young kids, would always come first to her, and I would come second. Whereas if we were dating and it became serious, then she would expect me to put her first. And that doesn't seem to be the fairest deal to me. At number five, I would choose Carrie. I know that this is a surprise pick, especially this high on the list, but I admired a number of qualities that Carrie had during her time on the show. I think that she was attractive, had a great level of confidence, and teetered along the lines of dating with a purpose, as well as being open to other options. I did have two issues with Carrie. First, I don't think she was as good of a communicator as the other ladies are. And second, I think Carrie got a tad bit too defensive when taking feedback and criticism from a guy like Tyrone. At number four, I would have to choose Nina, and I know this choice is a little unexpected, but allow me to explain. Nina's time on the show was a bit awkward to say the least. Her scenes painted her as somebody who was easily jealous or closed off to the process, but it is my belief that Nina just wasn't meant to be on a show like this. The same could be said for Ace from this recent season. To me, Nina was physically attractive, she dated with a purpose, and you could tell that she had a good heart. But Nina also had a mysterious nature to herself, and a guy like me would definitely want to uncover that mystery. At number three, I would choose Winter. Right out the gate, Winter is the type of woman that I couldn't keep my eyes off of. She's physically attractive, has a great sense of style, knows how to have a conversation, she dates with a purpose, and is able to give proper choosing signals. If there were any setbacks that a guy like me would have for Winter, it's that during her time on the show, she put all her eggs into one basket when dealing with the guy that she wanted instead of being open to other guys. And of course, that's her right, and if it works, it works. But on a show like this, if you're not the guy that Winter has all her eggs in the basket for, then it would be kind of pointless to pursue her. But that's just my opinion. At number two, I would happily choose Alex. And much for what I said about Winter would apply to Alex. She's visually stunning, has a great sense of style, she's easy to talk to, and she dates with a purpose. But if you're not that guy that she puts all her eggs in the basket for, then it would be hard for you to get to know her on that level. However, I would put her ahead of Winter because my spider sense tells me that Alex's personality would mesh better with a guy like me. And at number one, I would happily choose Ashley. In my opinion, Ashley was the complete package. She was attractive, had an amazing body, an amazing sense of humor, she had a good heart, she was loyal, she didn't appear to be jealous, and to my knowledge, she didn't practice celibacy. She was the type of woman that most guys wouldn't hesitate to settle down with and marry, plain and simple. So folks, this is my list, and I'm pretty certain that some folks would agree with it and some won't. But I would definitely like to hear your thoughts on this list as well as which female cast members that I may have overlooked. Leave your comments below in the comments section, and I'll reply to everybody. Until next time, stay tuned and stay safe. Peace.